Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your day is off to a fantastic start. We are discussing skincare today, specifically a new to me product from Dermalogica. In full disclosure, Dermalogica did send this product as PR, so I did not pay for it. I will also denote that in the description box. Also down there, I will link where you can purchase this product or read up reviews about this product, which I'm gonna encourage you to do um, at several different websites. Um, Dermalogica as a skincare brand is available in terms of like, you know, popular retailers. You can find it at Ulta, you can find it at Sephora. Dermalogica obviously also has their own website. They also sell on, you know, some other platforms. I believe they're on Skin Store, I believe they're on Derm Store. So it's, it's a pretty readily available brand. I feel like this is a very established skincare brand. Um, so I have used a lot from Dermalogica that I really enjoy a lot. And um, I was definitely happy to receive this product to be able to test it out for you guys. I didn't even know they were releasing it until it showed up and I was like, oh cool. <laughs> I am a huge fan of exfoliating my skin. Um, before we get into the actual review, I think it's important to know what the skin type or skin concerns or issues are for the person that you are watching in terms of like learning about this product, you know, consuming reviews. My skin type is um, very oily. I am it, just about in my mid 40s. I'll be 45 this fall. I still deal with oily skin. I still deal with enlarged pores um, Obviously, you know, I I'm trying to slow down the aging process a little bit. So fine lines wrinkles things like that um, I do get tox in my forehead. So do know that um, I do not get it anywhere else on my face here with the exception of my masseter muscles, but that has nothing to do with like a beauty benefit that has to do with um, grinding my teeth into an oblivion and um, talks finally fixing that for me. So if you're interested in that particular topic, there are videos up on my channel about my masseter muscle talks and um, the benefits that I found from that. But um, other than the talks in my forehead and some filler in my lips, um, that's kind of it for like the beauty stuff that I do in terms of injectables. Um, for me, the enlarged pores really don't necessarily lead to blackheads so much anymore, but sebaceous filaments are always a concern. Just having enlarged pores, even though my pores look the best that they probably have at any other point in my life, um, because of the amount of skincare that I've done, um, I can still be prone to those pores clogging. They're still there. I don't have flawless skin. Um, I am very extensive with my skincare routine and some people have told me that I do too much. To which I say, uh, yeah, you do what works for you and I'm gonna do what works for me. Using a lot of skincare works for me personally. It keeps my skin looking its best and it takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort. It is something that I value just as a self-care thing. Um, I do not expect anyone else to have those same expectations. So if you are not someone who enjoys using a lot of skincare, you don't have to do that. You can find a routine that works best for you. Just piece together the things that are a necessity for you to get your skin to a healthy place um, and do that and stick with it, be consistent. Consistency is really the key here. So anyway, Let's get into the Dermalogica Liquid Peel Foliant, and I will address uh, how this um, how this compares to the Ordinary's peeling solution because when I first saw this, I was like, is this different from the Ordinary one? Because I tried that one years ago. P.S. I have not made it any secret that I really don't care for a lot of the products from the Ordinary. I just never really saw much in terms of improvement or benefit from those products. So um, I'm not the world's biggest fan, but I did use their peeling solution and I did think that was a pretty decent product. So if you are on a much tighter skincare budget, um, definitely you can try the Ordinary's peeling solution. It's under 10 bucks. And if you can deal with the stinging that that one causes, um, then, you know, use that. But we're gonna talk about this. Um, it will be linked down below at several different retailers so that you can go read up about different people's reviews because while I have really tough, essentially rhino hide skin, um, you might have a very sensitive skin type and I just don't know, you know, what to tell you in terms of will this irritate your skin or not if you're sensitive. 
go read up the reviews from what I have read because I've went through quite a few um, just anticipating getting this question from those of you with a sensitive skin type it seems to work really well for those that typically can't use a lot of other exfoliants so it's worth reading up on if you normally struggle so we're going to go ahead and read through the claims of this product I will talk about the key ingredients and then I will tell you what my experience has been incorporating this over the last three weeks um, I will tell you, I do not use this on a daily uh, basis. I use quite a number of different types of exfoliants. And so for me, I have to be careful to not overdo it with chemical exfoliation. So I've been using this just a couple times a week. And honestly, I have personally found that that was plenty. Um, but they do tell you that they want you to use this, I think, most days. So let's go ahead and read about it first. By the way, Dermalogica is vegan and they are cruelty-free. That is something that is important to me personally, at least the cruelty-free aspect. So if you too are cruelty-free, rest assured, Dermalogica is. Um, experience treatment room results with Dermalogica's liquid peel, liquid peel foliant. It's kind of hard to say. This daily liquid exfoliating at-home peel is proven to even skin tone and minimize pores with one use and reduce the appearance of wrinkles in three weeks. So kind of some big claims there for sure. Now I would say if you are not using any other type of chemical exfoliant, be it um, another type of BHA or another type of lactic acid or AHA or tretinoin, then yes, maybe you could use this every single day, but I use tretinoin um, in my bathroom right now. I do have some other, you know, chemical exfoliants. I have one from U Beauty. I have my Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I have kind of put those products on hold while testing this. Um, I, not my tretinoin, absolutely not. <laughs> that stays in the system no matter what. But the other ones I've kind of taken a little bit of a break from in favor of using this instead. So um, don't overdo it with your, with your exfoliation, says the girl who really does love to exfoliate. But you, you can do damage to your skin. You have to be very careful. There's a fine line, do not cross it. All right, so the benefits from this are that it's supposed to smooth fine lines and wrinkles. It helps to unclog the pores. It evens out the skin tone. Let's talk about the ingredients. So in here is AHA. Um, so this contains both glycolic and lactic acids. Those are going to be great for the surface wrinkles on your face. Also, there is BHA in there, which is essentially salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is wonderful at going deeper into your actual pores to clean out the dirt, the oil, the makeup, congestion, things like that. Um, BHA was such a game changer for me once I really started incorporating that into my routine way back when I got into skincare. And oh man, has that made the biggest difference for blackheads, congested pores, sebaceous filaments, things like that. Um, I cannot recommend BHA enough for those of you that are struggling with clogged pores. Um, again, it exfoliates and unclogs the pores. Uh, there's also PHA in here. I hope I'm going to say it right this time. I goof this word up. Glunolactone. I think I finally said it right. Gl glunolact gluconolact gluconolactone. Dude, I messed it up. It's gluconolactone. There we go. And fermented pomegranate enzymes gently exfoliate with antioxidant benefits. Phytic and transamic acids brighten and even the skin tone. There's also a, li a lipid-rich blend with ceramides in here. Um, this contains upcycled cranberry extract, which promotes radiance and long-lasting hydration in the skin. Um, so they say this is proven to even out skin tone and minimize pores with one use and reduce the appearance of wrinkles in three weeks. Um, in terms of how to use it, okay, so this is what they say. Massage this peel onto cleansed, dry skin. Rinse after one to three minutes. Begin using every other day, building up to daily use. Skin may tingle upon activation. So the way that you use this, let's just do it. I always shake stuff up. I don't know that you have to with this, but let's take a look at the consistency here. So it's it's liquidy. Um, it's a liquid peel foliant. Uh, you can see it's not super runny, but it's, you know, it's there. So you basically just rub this into your skin. So you're gonna do this all over your face. 
I really take the time to massage this, especially on the areas where I am prone to the most congestion. So for me, that is my forehead, my cheeks, my nose, and my chin. That's my entire face. Yeah, that I am just one giant clog pour is what I am, basically. So I put this all over my face, but I really concentrate it around the cheeks, the nose, forehead, and chin, just a little bit extra. And um, I leave it on for, I don't know, sometimes I leave it on for up to five minutes because uh, I lose track of time. And then I uh, take a warm washcloth and um, I rinse this off. And then I go about the rest of my skincare routine. So I try to go in with a good hydrating toner, um, then a hydrating serum afterwards. Um, I have been using this in the mornings after getting out of the shower, usually about two or three days a week, not every single day. I just think that if you are, especially if you are using some other exfoliants, like I mentioned, whether you're doing tretinoin, whether you're doing Sunday Rally Good Jeans, or what other type of exfoliant that you're using, keep that in mind so that you don't overdo it with this. Um, I do think that if you're constantly just going after your skin, you are going to sensitize it over time. So just be mindful of that, even if you have a tougher skin type. So the results that I saw, all right, so immediately after rinsing my face, uh, it does make your pores look really nice um, and smooth. Um, it definitely, I think, helps to break down some gunk in there. Um, I don't think that leaving it on for much longer will get you like, any more added benefits per se. Um, I've left it on up to 10 minutes at one point just to kind of test whether my skin would become irritated by it and I don't feel like it really did. Um, I mean, it, I think even if I left this on, I don't think it would irritate my skin, but just be mindful of the amount of exfoliating that you're doing. Um, in terms of wrinkles, I don't know. I don't have any major wrinkles because I do do the talks in my forehead and I just naturally don't have any wrinkling on around my eyes quite yet. I just, I can't really attest to that one per se, but I can tell you that this does give good clarity to my skin. It really does, I think, help to break down any of the, um, you know, maybe dead skin cells that you have just chilling on your face if you haven't exfoliated in a while. This definitely very gently um, lifts those up. They are rinsed away when you rinse the product away. Um, and it just leaves my skin looking refreshed and smooth. Um, let me tell you the difference between my experience using this and using the Ordinary's 30% percent P. let me, I need to recall what the numbers are on the ordinary version because the ingredients are slightly different. Um, for example, the, um, the ordinary does have, uh, blah, blah, blah. so that one also claims dullness, uneven texture, acne, and blemishes. So their key ingredients are glycolic acid, which we have in here, lactic acid, which we have in here, as well as salicylic acid, which we also have in here. Um, so the percentages, however, look to be 30% uh, AHA and 2% BHA in the ordinary. In here, we have 15% AHA um, and 2% BHA, I believe. Um, this has 10% fruit, enzymes uh, as well as 5% phytic and transamic acids in it whereas the ordinary version does not have does not have transamic acid right it has tartaric acid um fruit enzymes let's see here Th there do appear to be uh, there's a tasmania Lanza, lancelotta fruit extract. Um, I'm not sure what that is to be perfectly honest, but um, in terms of uh, the difference in the feel of both of these products, this is super gentle. This never stung or like irritated my skin. I will say the ordinary one definitely does a good job of exfoliating. Don't leave that one on too terribly long. Um, 
but that one does sting a little bit and I rarely have those types of reactions because I have a really tough skin type but that one does it cause a little causes a little bit of that burning sensation might be the significantly higher concentration of the AHAs in there that are causing that but I do notice some stinging for sure from the ordinary peeling solution now over the years have I repurchased the ordinary one no um would I consider repurchasing this I actually think that I might consider repurchasing this in the future, although I feel like I don't, I don't think that I need this. I use exfoliants elsewhere. This would be good for someone who is looking for, like I said, a very gentle chemical exfoliation. This is not something that you leave on your skin, so that's kind of nice because you do rinse it off and then you can go in with your kind of soothing ceramides, things like that to make sure that your skin doesn't react too negatively to this. Um, I like it. The price point is a bit up there. You do get two ounces of it. By the way, the amount that I use, I just use uh, probably like five or six drops like I showed you on the back of my hand and then I just really work that into my skin. I don't feel like I have to overuse this. So I feel like this bottle would last me a long time. I think it's a good value in that respect. And I really would only use it a maximum of probably three mornings out of the week. So for me, a bottle like this would last quite some time. But if you are using it every single day, obviously you're gonna go through this within a few months. So I think you're gonna have to look at your budget. I think you're gonna have to maybe think about if you wanna try the ordinary one first. If that one gets too irritating, if it makes your skin inflamed, red, if you just can't stand that tingling sensation that the, organ, that the ordinary one causes, then this might be worth checking out. It, it just is very, very gentle, so I will give it that. So overall, can I say it's worth the splurge? Mm, I'm not sure I can quite yet. I think I need to, I think I need to answer that question once I'm done with it. And when I start like craving it, there's a lot of products when I finish them and I go to try something new and I just crave the old product that I have. Those are all of those holy grails that you guys see me mentioning over and over again in a lot of my skincare videos. So we'll see if this makes its way into that category, but right now I really am enjoying it. I think it's gentle. I think it's easy to use. Um, it's a quick thing you can do in the morning to just give your skin a quick glow and be on your way versus, you know, some like 15, 20 minute mask that you have to leave on um, and that you can only use at night, for example. So. I like it. I'm giving it definitely a thumbs up for now and I look forward to using it more. Um, let me know if you have picked up the liquid peel foliant from Dermalogica. Let me know what your favorite Dermalogica product is. I love a lot of things from them. Their Biolumency Serum is fantastic. They have a, I think it's called their Active Toner. Um, it comes in a spray bottle. I've been using that again, which is a really great product. Um, also their clear start line is one that I have purchased for my daughter who's starting to break out and she has really great luck with that line. So yeah, lots of great things to check out from Dermalogica. Let me know some of your favorites down below. I'm definitely looking to try more for them in the future. And, um, let me know if you have any other questions, subscribe if you're new, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.